Sky just announced some big news ahead of its next blockbuster update. Sky has held its latest financial earnings, revealing some new figures around its satellite television business and next-generation Sky Q system. Sky confirmed some impressive new figures in its latest quarterly earnings call. The UK broadcaster confirmed its annual revenue increased by 5% year-on-year, bringing the total to £10.1 billion. Sky also revealed its flagship Sky Q system an all-new system that redesigned the iconic Sky and HD hardware from the ground up is now in 2.5 million homes across UK, Ireland and Italy. The redesigned satellite box will be coming to Germany and Austria, starting from May 2. Elsewhere, Sky repeated its plans for the forthcoming software update for Sky Q customers. The blockbuster update, the company told shareholders, will bring new partnerships with third-party content providers, including Spotify and Netflix. Sky plans to give its main menu a fresh design, tweaking the user interface to bring content that its algorithms think will be best suited to the viewer to the top of their screens. The update also brings a dedicated kids mode that will provide parents control over exactly what their children are able to watch via Sky. The company is also building on the voice controls it introduced last year, allowing customers to open apps and receive personalized recommendations. Sky will push out the major software upgrade in the coming weeks. The update will be staggered as it rolls out to customers across the UK and Ireland. Interestingly, despite the swathe of new features coming to SkyQ, the vast majority of Sky TV viewers in the UK are still using older hardware. As of March 31, Sky confirmed to shareholders that it had 13 million customers in the UK and Ireland an increase of 70,000 new customers during this financial quarter, some 75% or higher than the prior year. Sky still supports its aging Sky and HD hardware and will bring new software features. However, it's clear the vast majority of its innovations like the ability to sign in and watch Netflix original programming from your Sky set-top box, for example is only headed to its flagship Sky Q system. Whether the upgrades included in the forthcoming software update are enough to push some of those Sky and HD viewers to Sky Q remains to be seen.